This is Robert. He's a medical researcher. His job is to compare different medications, procedures, and lifestyle choices, like diet and exercise. Robert is going to help the doctors answer their question. Remember, all three medications do work to lower blood pressure, and doctors can choose to prescribe any of these three medications. But what if medication A works faster than medication B and C? Or medication A is stronger than medication B and C? Or medication A is safer than medications B and C? Robert helps to answer these questions. His work is called Research on Medical Practices. Robert does not replace your doctor. Your doctor is still responsible for your care. But your doctor works with Robert using different research methods to find out which medication is better. Medical record review is one method Robert can use to compare medications. Simply by reviewing medical records of what medications patients are on, he can sometimes find out which medications work better compared to others. Reviewing medical records can be useful, but by itself sometimes leads to the wrong answer about what medication is best. Randomization is another research method Robert and the doctors can decide to use to overcome the limitations of medical record review. But what is randomization? Imagine a gumball machine. You put in a quarter and then a gumball comes out. The color of the gumball that comes out is decided by chance, but no matter what color gumball you get, you know it's a gumball. Randomization means a patient is assigned a medication by chance. Some will get medication A, some will get B, some will get C. In medical research, randomization is the gold standard for making comparisons. So how does this look with patients? Robert randomly assigns one of the medications to each patient. Robert can track the groups of patients to see which group does better. Sometimes the doctors and patients do not know which medication has been assigned, but in many studies, the doctors and the patients do know. No matter what, if a patient does not respond well, the doctor can change the medication. And rather than randomizing individual patients, sometimes entire clinics or hospitals can be randomized. This can be a better way to answer some questions.